ТВ С неба привет Ультрамариновый на багерет Тельник с волной Добрый день, comrades! Welcome to much anticipated, long-awaited review of Mega Bloks Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack. This set comes with 961 piece count and is for age 10 plus. Here we have it, comrades. The moment you've been waiting for. I remember when I was a young boy, I thought to self, why is there no Russian vehicles in Mega Bloks Arsenal? There is filthy American tanks, trucks, and even hovercraft. But finally, my prayers to Great Lenin were answered when this set was released. Finally, I say to self, I have something for my American vehicles to get shot at by. You are there. It is amazing, faithful representation of BTR-80 Comrade Vehicle. It has so many fine details, but before we begin, I must discuss other things that it come with. The land here is of represent amazing healthy Russian economy. Yeah, the loyal motherland defending soldiers that are depicted in this set are healthy and strong. As you can see they are wearing the green. I show you like this here. They are wearing the green. Ah, oh, he dropped his gun. Yes, as you can see, they are both wearing green and the black colors of Mother Russia. They both have the full combat vest. One is black, one is tan. Pouches on either vest. This man here, he has a uh, binoculars for spying on the capitalist pigs with. Comes with backpack, very nice. Comes with magazine for glorious Kalashnikov. A uh, walkie-talkie for calling in the MiG airstrikes on Western warships. Flashlights for spying on cheeky brickies in the dark. An overall very tough expression. He also come with shotgun. I do not know what this is. He is weird gun. It looks like UTS-15 shotgun. He is, he is strange with his weapon choice, but loyal with his devotion to the motherland. As for the second man here, he comes with glorious Russian RPK Kalashnikov light machine gun support weapon. I focus camera in so you can see perfectly. It comes with the bipod drum magazine. Glorious, Kal glorious Kalashnikov front end, yet it's ruined by silly M4 bootstock on the back. Why do you do this to me, Mega Blocks? I have no idea. As for second man here, you can see he comes with full green uniform, black gloves, brown pants. He comes with tan vest, brown pouch on vest. He comes with very nice green helmet with the black detailing and tinted visor. You can see on his leg here he carries Mon 59, which is superior version of American M18 Claymore. Much better to use Russian weaponry, no? He has no backpack, but instead he carries the weight of Mother Russia on his shoulders. God bless this glorious man. For train piece to come with this set, it is very simple. Two of the uh, base plates held together by tiny brick right here. You see, the fence is just of the mesh texture with the barbed wire going over it uh, to secure the borders of Mother Russia against the evil invaders. It comes with silver barrel, I do not know what you put in that, you can do whatever you want with it, it does not matter to me. The uh, mesh, you can see, is interweaved through the poles, I focus in camera once again so you can see better. It is interweaved through the poles, gives it a very nice looking uh, exterior. You flip it around, it, uh, it does not have the same weaving effect from the back, but uh, look very nice nonetheless. Anyway, that is out of the way. Now we may move on. Oh no, my capitalist senses are tingling. Oh no, yet, yet. It is Western capitalist, he has invaded the set! I do not know why Megablox chooses to torture me like this, but they include most ludicrous of all fools in this set. Soap McTavish! First off, what kind of person names their child Soap? Do they want him to suck at life? He comes with the blue jeans and black boots, like, this is not even the combat gear, why do you wear this? Uh, he comes with a short sleeve green shirt, this is not even the combat gear, why do you wear this? He comes with the, the gloves, 
He comes with little, not even full tactical vest, but just little straps in silver color? Why you do silver color? Do you not know silver stands out on battlefield? He is so foolish, he does not even support headgear. He comes with silly mohawk and his eyes, they look, they look horrifying. Like dots, cold and dead, like the desert lands of America. I hope to never visit that place. He comes with inferior western weapons, he comes with this tan colored M4, insignificant compared to power of AK-47. We put that aside on his person, he comes with black pouch for storing evil western devices. He comes with canteen cause he cannot even charge into battle without getting up thirsties. And he comes with flashbang because he thinks he can avoid hostage situations. Everyone knows in Russia, even the hostages must be destroyed. We do not negotiate with terrorists and I will not negotiate with Megablocks for putting such a foolish vigor in this set! Okay, on to BTR Radio, let's get this started. So I forget to mention price of this set, but it actually cost 5,562 Russian rubles, which is about 89.99 in Canadian money, but that is not important, forget that. The sheer cost of this set though is justified because as you can see it is massive. Here is my hand. Here is set. It is huge. I have big hands. It has always been strange. But you see this set come with so many small features. I suppose I will start from front and I will move all the way to back covering each feature. Then I will dive inside and show you the very fine details. First off on the front I just want to bring your attention to this. They use such fine angled pieces to show that this is amphibious craft and that it can go in the water. They use it all throughout the front. They have one large piece for the viewfinding windows right here. And the mirrors, look at these mirrors, they are so nice. I bring camera in close so you can see those mirrors. They are even reflective, true quality of Mother Russia. In the front here it comes with coaxial machine gun, does not move but keeps straight shooting right at the enemy. The flaps here do open up. And you can see inside vehicle, nothing but blackness, but we will get to that later. Moving around to side of tank, it is symmetrical on both sides, so there is really uh, no purpose of reviewing both sides of tank, I will just go over one. So here we have number 88, I do not know why that is there, I suppose it is number of vehicle, not important, little bits of texturing pieces all along this set. You see that it is nice green color, which is a little bit of frustrating because I will pull up pages of instruction book and show you this. In instruction book, the, the pieces, they do not appear as green, they appear as strange, rusty brown color. It made building set very confusing initially, but after a while I got used to it. I just wanted to address that so you, my fellow comrades, would know not to be tricked by Megablock's foolish color blanks. Now, this door on set I find very problematic. Oh no, it worked just fine, it opened up, you see, you rotate this and this door open up and the Russian troops can scurry out of tank to counter the oppressors, but you see right there, right there is where problem in lies. What is that? Of English lettering? It's a step? I do not even know what step of means. I do not know why they spend so much time to produce gloriously manufactured Russian vehicle and ruin the whole design by printing of English right there. I, I do not know. I will be getting rid of it as soon as this review is done. I just wanted to make sure that you comrades are aware of this atrocity. I, the closed door there is, is once again angled quite nicely and only problem is you can kind of see through door right there, it is not sealed tight, so do not actually be putting this in water, it is just toy. You should play with real BTRs when you are of age to join army as all true Russian shout. Here you have the, uh, the cans of the fuel, they just fit into either side of the tank, one on both sides, I bring that better into focus, there you go. That slides in right there, bar holds it in place. Moving on, we have the shovel, we have the the rounded thing, we have the other thing, I do not know what any of this is, but we have the more angled bricks, 
We have the engine pump compartment in the back. We have the red lights now. This part, comrades, you will like very much, okay? Remember how I said earlier that this tank was amphibious? Well, you flip this hatch up here and by the nose of Stalin! Look at this, you have propeller blade that spins around and can propel tank through water. Very nice. Now, this is vent for engine, which I will get to in just a moment, but I will flip again around just to show you. Other side is completely the same, except for shovel, that is a different, slightly shorter shovel. Not too much. Uh, doors open, obviously, on either side, but we roll that around, and once again, we are at the front of vehicle. Alright, this time we will dive into the top section of BTR. So the turret on top, it spin 360 degrees. Comes with main gun, comes with little machine gun on side, comes with light for spotting the evil western capitalist. It come with a... Now I find this very unique. It come with one, two, three, four smoke grenade dispensers for firing off the smoke grenades to stop enemies from seeing the BTR when it attacks. Moving to back of tank, there is some fine detailing all along the top. Little things like this here and there that add extra dimensions to the vehicle and make it look not boring with flat top. Here we have little rubber antenna. It's, uh, it's not much, but it is fun to wiggle around. These on either side, though, these are not rubble. They are strong and firm, like soldiers of Mother Russia. Moving to back of tank, we have two more of these antenna pieces. Cannot complain, look very nice, feel very nice in palm of my hands. And finally, this is this is something that only Mega Blocks would do. You see, you get building companies like Lego and Best Lock. What is the Best Lock? I do not even know. They do not do stuff like this. You see, you flip open the hatch here. You can see there is little edge block with fine detailing that you cannot even see from this angle. But when you build set, you get an idea of how vehicle is in real life. There is even a red rubber tube here. They put such detail into such a minor portion of set. I cannot recommend the Mega Blocks enough. I close this back up now here. All right now, so there is one last thing we have to cover, one more major thing uh, before we can wrap this review up, and that is interior of tanks. So this, this roof section, it pop off just like this. And a quick side note, you can put it on like that. It look kind of weird, but if you want to remodel turret, you can actually make this look like a Russian anti-aircraft vehicle. Very interesting, but I remove that for now and I will flip this over so you may peek inside. Now here in the front you can see we have little control monitors, just two right there. We have the same old Mega Bloks chair piece, just one with the little piece right there that can insert into the backs of figures. So here is vehicle with the figures inside of it, only Russian soldiers, no filthy uh, western capitalists allowed. Uh, we have flat wheel against the ground here, instead of it being angled like you see in cars, this is flat against the ground, which is uh, proper for uh, what you would see inside a real armored vehicle. You have little lever here, I assume it is for acceleration or gear shifting, and some control panels right here just to mimic the ones on the actual tank. Now in side here, this is a troop carrier in real life, so there is spaces to put troops. There is one here, one here. One right here, and one right here, and you notice each one of them has a peg sticking out of the wall, so you can insert uh, your troop with a little hole in their back onto there. As for inside, there is not much studded tile pieces, so uh, the troops will not be able to stand and stay still inside tank, but it is alright, you can just sit them down. As for final main portion of tank to cover, uh, this is a weapons rack, it holds 1, 2, 3, 4 weapons. Uh, not all weapons fit, but uh, things like this weird shotgun thing, you see it? Hey, it fit, okay, so yeah, weapons like that they fit, but things like uh, Soviet Kalashnikov RPK, they, they, do not, they do not fit on weapons racks. So you have to select white weapons to put there, but there are four weapons for four soldiers inside a vehicle. Very good, lots of detail in the set, and that's basically all there is to say about it. So without further ado, let us wrap this up. And there you have it, comrades, the Mega Bloks Call of Duty Combat Vehicle Attack, the BTR-80. Now, if you liked what you saw in this video, then comrade, I suggest you like the video. 
And if you like the video, and you want to see more videos that are just like this video, hit the red subscribe button. I would like to thank you all for watching and... I would like to thank you all for watching. This is Sweetly Roll, rolling out. Have a good one.